people are not in therapy at any large level. I agree. And I love that you promote it. Um, it's becoming destigmatized, but we, of all people, we need it the most and especially our women as well and how to relate to, to our, to our black men. There is a level of decorum that's missing, but again, I feel like it's misguided self-expression because of all the oppression and just the day-to-day -day microaggressions, all the things that we have to deal oh, with. This oh, is a way to kind oh, of, oh, you, you know, no, you're... no, 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 I'm not okay, going, all right, I'm not all going. right. I'm trying to, ma'am, the way you talk removes accountability from women. Misguided okay. expression. Bullshit. You get away with it. We have one-way aggression and violence in our community. It goes from women to men. Men are not allowed full expression. That is why so many women get upset with my show, because I actually have the nerve to bark back. Yeah, you do. Because you, what you're saying, even if the, even for the truth in it, you are trying to expand it to where it covers a lot of things. No, what are you doing about it? What was all this, Mike? What was all this misguided expression when we had Jim Crow segregation, lynching, and all yeah. the other kind of stuff? When we prior to 1965, when we were mad at a rate of 80 percent, what was all that misguided expression in? Hmm? When we actually had real institutionalized Colored whites. What was all? Of, where was it all then? You're right. You're right. There were a lot more checks and balances in place. There was a lot more of a real threat. Like you get out of line, and you're going to lose a life. I'm saying, Here, where is, where, no, ma'am. No, what I'm saying was, where was all the misguided expression from women to men back when we had real racism in your face? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's why you that's why I call bullshit on your example. Because as you become more free, you become more problematic. Mm. We are almost two different races. Our black women, our women. Yeah. We can't make a demand. We can't even ask you to smile. But you want us to protect you. Mm. Mm. Are you yeah, all women? I want to take a <clears throat> take a minute and stop it right here. So the question is, do black women feel like they are black or for black men? Are you our woman? And let's just be real. They don't act like it. Um all you ever hear them talking trash about us and never respect, never, when you're out and about somewhere. Like, women won't even look in your direction to even speak to you. So, you know, like he said, he had a conversation with a lady about smiling. Just smiling. And this lady here is a therapist. And she's struggling to answer questions. She's deflecting all over the place with things. But she's a licensed therapist and cannot and refuse to answer these questions because there's some type of black girl code that we're not going to say nothing about each other no matter how fucked up it is. No matter how fucked up. We're going to be on black girl side no matter what. So Watch and listen for this lady, I mean to this lady, and see how hard she struggles with this question. Are you a black man's woman? And watch. This is a therapist now. Watch. What do you think? What do you say? Yes. By, 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 no, no. Before you answer this question, by the way you see the ethnic image of black women acting towards black men, are black women our women? not aspirationally by the results, by what you see. Not aspirationally by what I see. Um, not aspirationally. I feel like, yes, we, we definitely, I, I we. See, no, I asked you what you see and you went to what you feel. Ma'am, are you going to actually tell me by what you see, 
black women act like they belong to black men. The, they, we, we, you know, we need a lot of, we need a lot of mentoring. Yes. And so no, I'm, no, I'm going to no, say, no, no, no. I'm, 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 see, you already start to okay. beat boxing. See, subjective variable. <laughs> see, when you ask a question, the boxers come in, they don't want to call. They don't want to hold us to the task. So they're going to start breakdancing. Mm -hmm. Yes or no, man. Isn't it uh, a shame that she, as a therapist, refuse to answer this question. She knows the damn answer. She's a therapist. She know because she probably helped push this same narrative that y'all shouldn't sell. Y'all shouldn't do this. Y'all should do that. But we should do all that to be with you guys. 200 pound women fussing and fighting and all this other shit, screaming and yelling, attitude all in your face, acting like dudes. But we're supposed to take all that. Now that we're not taking it, it's an issue. Mm. But let's watch how she keeps struggling with this shit, man. With this shame. You're a professional, right? A, 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 a healthcare professional, right? I am. Uh, Answer but professional. Answer the question as a professional. Yes or no? Do 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 our black women look like they black? You've heard the question three times. Our black women are. I'm gonna say that's tough. That's tough because the answer is yes. The answer is yes. We belong to like y'all. Yes, y'all are for us, and we black are for men, you. Black men, black men. I want you to understand, black men. Hold on, man. Black men. I want you to understand how you felt when you saw her struggling to try to get this lie out of her mouth. That is the link they will go. That is, you go back to the, no ma'am, you go back to the comment section, go to the time of date stand. Go there and look at what the black men say. I know what I felt here. Oh I've asked my you, God. You, no, no, no ma'am, because I know the question I'm asking. And the answer is, I can objectively say, no, you're not. And, I'm, mm -hmm. and, I, and I can say it, but you don't want to admit what we can see. If you look at what the men are saying, they're saying no. But you're still trying to tell us, yeah, we are. And the men are like, well, what, the, what world are you seeing? It's like, are y'all, and you're a professional. I'm like, answer it as a professional. And you're still going to get to the point where like, well, yeah. Then, then the men, then the men don't know what they're seeing. You, so yes, we, we definitely belong to you. And we, we want to just improve those relationships. I feel like. We just you, belong you know, to have us. a difficult time. You belong to us. You belong to us. This is what you're saying. So if that's the case, then why would a black man yeah. ask a black woman to smile? Is she offended if you belong to us? Now, I disagree with being offended, but I why, but why, I don't why disagree does a black that woman feel, why, do, why why okay, offended, whatever. What why does she feel put upon? Why does she feel like it makes a demand of her? If it's just a smile, and understand, a black woman who's a femininity influencer asked her femininity group who wants to be married to black men to just smile at every black man, and she was savage for months. Mm. You know this is common, man. If black women mm. truly belong to black men, as you say they do, why do black women feel put upon by simply being asked to smile at black men? And, and here's the problem. If we can't have real conversations with our women, because I'm going to tell you something, man. Black men know you're lying. They know you're conflicted. Oh. Ma'am, look in the comment section. The black men know you're not being honest. And they and i and black, I think honestly, I think black men want relationships with black women more than black women want relationships with black men. Because when asked this question, you're speaking aspirationally. Men are saying, No, you're not ours. And they can see you struggling. But you're gonna find a way to rejigger this to make it make sense and, and men are saying you are not ours we can't even ask you to smile at us okay i'm gonna go ahead and stop this right here i think this one of the most powerful ones that he's done kevin samuels and it's sad that he's talking to a licensed therapist and she can explain why do women feel the way they do toward black men? This up, so black people probably go to this woman 
black women, because women like going to other black women because they think they can relate better, and asking her and talking to her, and now she realizing probably what she's saying to women is probably not the correct thing to say. Because they coming out, they're like, well, this licensed woman, she knows what she's talking about. She got it down, Pat. You made me feel, you know, told me what I want to, to hear. It made me feel the way I want to feel. But black men telling you, no, she's like starstruck right now. She don't know what the fuck to do. She don't know what to say. And it's a damn shame that we have to <laughs> go through this Lent to get you to understand that you guys act like you hate us. So, let me know what y'all think, man. Um, like I said, this Kevin Samuels, one of the, I think one of the most powerful ones he's put out. Um, that's why I did it on this one. Um, it hit home, especially with this lady. And uh, I just think he did a real good job holding her accountable in this. So, um, this Calm Vibes, this Jay, and I'm up out of here. Don't forget, subscribe, hit that thumbs up. And comment, let me hear what you got to say about this bullshit, man. You fellas, speak up, man. I want to hear what the hell you got to say. With that, y'all take care. Peace. Be with you. Jake.